Today I'm going to show you how to build this custom niche that will fit this piece of tile perfectly without having any sliver cuts or anything like that. Let's get into it. Alright, so even though a niche is going in there, to, for us to start figuring out how to put it there starts right here. This is going to be the tallest piece of tile that we're going to use and this is going to be the grout line that we need. I have my laser set up right here in the door. I'm hitting that grout line and that is giving me that grout line which is going to be the start to figuring out our niche. All right, so I know my first piece of tile is going about here. So what I'm going to do basically, if my tile is going like this, I'm going to put it upside down like so. And then I'm just going to mark off that laser mark right there and then right here then go downstairs and make that cut. All right, so I got my piece in there and now we can see that the ground line is right at the top. So now what I'm going to do is just basically build a little tower, kind of dry fitting this tower in here. <laughs> All right, so this right here seems like a really good height for the bottom of my niche. So I'm going to make my mark right here. All right, so this is the bottom of my niche. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come down about a quarter of an inch because if I try to get it perfectly there, it's going to be really hard to actually, I'm not that good essentially. So I want to give myself a little bit more wiggle room and I'm going to come down about a quarter of an inch here to then allow for myself to be able to um, kind of have that flexibility here. All right, now that I've come down to here, that's the line I'm going to start with. I'm going to get my drywall knife and then go this way until I hit my first stud. All right, so I hit my first stud right here. I'm going to come back half an inch this way, which will allow me to wrap that stud and then make this line nice and plumb right here. All right, so now I'm going to get my piece of tile, line it up with that mark that we just made and the perfect mark that we had to start with, and then trace off this tile, because this essentially is going to be my finished niche that I want, because I want it to be exactly the same size as one piece of tile. All right, same thing, I'm going to give myself just about a quarter room extra to make sure that I don't mess it up. So I'm going to go here and then connect those dots and that's going to be the actual line that I cut. All right, so, and then on this side, I'm also gonna give myself about a quarter of, a, quarter of an inch room in order to make sure that I don't mess it up. Basically, I'm making it a little bit oversized so that when my tile from the side can kind of overhang it a little bit and I make sure that I got it perfect. All right, so I knew that my niche was going into here. That's why this stud is already cut out. I also knew that it was going about in this area before when I was framing. We talked about that when we were framing. So I do already have a block in there and I have a block in there so i don't really have to worry about framing if you have a stud in here all you're going to have to do is get a multi-tool in there it's going to be a bit of a b to do it it's going to be annoying but you can get it out and cut it out so that's kind of what you see here um, next we're going to start figuring out our blocking for here and then our drywall so i cut a block that will go from this stud to the next stud over there and i already got these two screws kind of preset so that i can um you know, not have to wrestle them in there that hard. And I want to make sure that this sits half an inch below so that I can get my piece of sheetrock in there. Alright, so I'm installing this bottom piece of framing here and I want to make sure that the framing is pitched into the shower. This way the sloping works out. So what I did here is put a piece of screw. So I'm going to use my leverage tilt it up, and then I can set the screw in here. All 
right, so now we just have to install this side block, and then I'm going to use my uh, piece of drywall strips to then kind of trim everything out with the drywall itself. All right, so I'm not sure what happened. Maybe it's some fraying on the paper, but once I install this piece here, it's perfectly level. So what I'm gonna do here actually is take it back off, take this piece back off, get some shims behind it here. That will help me hold that piece up by 16th of an inch and give me that sloping that I want. So that's a little trick for you in case you mess up like I did. All right, so now our sides are all drywalled out. And then we're going to double check we did a good job. So we're gonna grab a piece of tile, make sure that it fits in here nice and loose this way, and nice and loose this way. You see that this is about three quarters of an inch up and down here. And I, again, wanted to make sure I give myself that flexibility to not have to get this perfectly. If I'm a quarter of an inch up or whatever it is, I can always float that. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to cut in the membrane for the insert. Let me explain what I just did. So the inside right here, this inside rectangle is the rough measurement of our niche. Then we are have plus eight this way, plus eight this way. So four inches for coming back and then four inch overlap onto our wall. Same thing this way, this is our width. And then we have seven and a half this way and seven and a half that way. Uh, again, so that it overlaps. Now I'm going to get my scissors. I'm going to cut it this way and cut these squares out and then we should be able to start thin setting it right in. All right, so now we're going to sponge our area. Uh, we got our thin set mixed right in here and uh, we're going to use our eighth inch notch trowel to install our membrane. And this is Guru Shower System Membrane. The piece that we use in here is just leftovers essentially that, that we're doing. So what I'm gonna do in here is install the membrane itself and then we're going to work on our corners next. Anytime you're trying to do a tight corner, what you wanna do is hold it with one trowel or whatever, hold it with that and then use a putty knife to squeeze that out and then you can just move it up. Cause if I just go and pull on this right here, it's going to pull that corner with it and we got no time for that. All right, so if you're gonna be doing subway tile, you have to be mindful of this. If you're going to be installing these corners here, it will build them out a little bit. It will kind of add like more mass to these corners. So it might bulge out your tile. So if you have, grab some um, Aqua Defense, grab some Hydrobian, whatever it is, and maybe use liquid waterproofer in those areas. For us, we're doing 12 by 24 tiles. So I'm not concerned about that. And I'm going to go with these corners that I have from Guru. It's just a stronger, more secure way of doing it, but it does build out these corners a little bit. So just be mindful of that. All right guys, so we're perfectly level this way and then we are pitched into uh, our shower this way. So now our niche is exactly where it needs to be height wise, sideways wise. Tomorrow I'm going to show you how to actually tile it and make it look sick. So make sure to follow and subscribe. Let's go.